Hey yo, and welcome to another Do It With Code tutorial. In a previous tutorial, we looked at how to script Instagram posts, which were mainly images and videos. But today, we're going to look at how to script a whole album. So stay tuned. Let's look at the code. And wait, if you're new here, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. It would really, really, really make me happy. So an album is basically a group of images or videos. This post has eight images. Let's append question mark underscore underscore a equals one to the Instagram post. So we can see the structure of the JSON. The link to the images in the album, or carousel, if you decide to call it that way, are part of a key called edge underscore sidecar underscore two underscore children, which has a list called edges. Now, so within that list, we can find that each and every one of those has a property called underscore underscore type name, which tells us whether this is an image or a video. And then there's also display URL, which is the actual link to the image or video. And as you can see, when you click on any of those display underscore URL, it goes to an image. I mean, that's if it's an image or it goes to a video if it's a video. Now we will be using the request module, which you can install within PyCharm if you don't already have it. We would also have to provide a user agent so that Instagram doesn't block our request. Now the user agent is basically what the browser ident identifies itself as. So in our case, I'm using Chrome and I can go to a tab in Chrome, type in Chrome, colon forward slash forward slash version. And that gives me a user agent. So I can simply copy all of that and put that in my code. So let's just do that. So in our code, we will first import requests, URL lib.request and also the OS module. And then we create a, a variable for the user agent, which will be the equal to the string that we copied earlier from Chrome. And then we do, we actually make the request to Instagram. Then we check to see if the request is 200. We set the variable called data to the JSON that's retrieved from Instagram. Um, if not, we, we will simply just exit with an error. And from that JSON, we can get the short code for the Instagram post. And we could use that to create a directory just to kind of organize our images and make things a little pretty. And then we go ahead and basically loop over the images or videos within the post. And for each and every one of them, we can check whether it's an image or video and then proceed to use URL lib.request.retrieve to download them. So simply if it's an image, we put a .jpg extension. If it's a video, we put a .mp4. And that's simply it. And as you can see, our images have been downloaded from Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to like, share and also subscribe. See you next time. Peace.